Do we believe in atoms? We cannot see atoms directly with the naked eye because they are incredibly small, about meters in diameter, far smaller than the wavelength of visible light, 400 to 700 nanometers. However, advancements in technology have allowed us to image atoms using specialized tools like scanning tunneling microscopy, STM, atomic force microscopy, AFM, electron microscopy etc. What you see in the video is a chemical experiment and not someone trying to see atom with naked eye. Why we can't see atoms directly? Seeing requires light to interact with an object and then be detected by our eyes. Since atoms are much smaller than the wavelength of visible light, they cannot reflect or refract light in a way that forms an image detectable by our eyes. Instead, we rely on indirect methods and quantum mechanical effects to visualize them. So what exactly is an atom? And its structure? An atom is the basic unit of matter, composed of three main types of subatomic particles. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. The center of the atom is nucleus where the protons and neutrons are tightly packed. It's super tiny but contains almost all the atom's mass. Electrons move around nucleus. By convention, electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and neutrons have no charge or neutral. The Coulomb matters in atoms because it is the unit used to measure the electric charge of subatomic particles, which governs how they interact. For example, 1 Coulomb is the amount of electric charge carried by 6.242 into 10 rise to 18 electrons, a huge number of electrons. Speed and charge of the main subatomic particles. 1. Electrons. Charge. Negative. Speed. Electrons in atoms move extremely fast, up to 2,200 kilometers per second, 1% of the speed of light in a hydrogen atom. In higher energy levels or in larger atoms, they can move faster. 2. Protons. Charge is positive. Speed. In an atom, protons don't move much. In particle accelerators, protons can reach speeds close to the speed of light. 3. Neutrons. Charge. Neutral. Speed. Mostly stationary. Free neutrons. When not bound in a nucleus, example, during nuclear reactions, they can travel at speeds depending on their energy. Major experiments that shaped our understanding of atom. Dalton's atomic theory. J.J. Thompson's cathode ray experiment. Rutherford's gold foil experiment. Bohr's model. Quantum mechanics. Discovery of neutrons. Etc. Current model is the quantum mechanical model. While protons, neutrons, and electrons are the most commonly mentioned subatomic particles because they directly make up atoms, there are many other subatomic particles that scientists have discovered. These particles either play a role in the fundamental forces of nature or exist in high energy environments, like in particle accelerators or cosmic rays. Other subatomic particles, quarks, building blocks of protons and neutrons. Quarks are held together by the strong nuclear force, mediated by gluons. Gluons. These are the force carriers of the strong nuclear force. They bind quarks together to form protons and neutrons. Photons. Massless particles that mediate the electromagnetic force, responsible for light and electromagnetic interactions. Bosons. Force carriers. W and Z bosons. Higgs boson. Gluons. Gravitons, leptons, electrons belong to a family of particles called leptons. Other leptons include muon tau, neutrinos, antiparticles. Every particle has a corresponding antiparticle with the same mass but opposite charge. When a particle and its antiparticle meet, they annihilate releasing energy. Exotic particles, mesons, baryons, tachyons, why learning about atom matters? Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Understanding their structure explains chemical reactions and bonding, material properties like conductivity, magnetism, and elasticity, the behavior of matter on a quantum level, and lots and lots more. Thanks for watching.